Hi, my name is Aubrey, and I want to know why leaves change color in the fall. My name is Ray Gurries. I'm a retired uh, professor from UW-Madison. I worked for almost 40 years in the Department of Forest Ecology. People do admire fall foliage. The oranges and yellows and reds, September, October are the really peak months. But a beginning point to understand it is, is the whole process of photosynthesis. All plants, including trees, uh, have green leaves. And the green color that we see is simply the reflected light that isn't absorbed as part of the photosynthetic process. But perennial plants like trees uh, in northern climates like Wisconsin are seasonal in terms of their productivity. The, the leaves do senesce in the fall uh, as an adaptation to dealing with uh, winter, uh, cold climates. Uh, those leaves would, would freeze in the winter. So the, the plant's adaptation is to simply uh, preserve the food that they produce, transport it out of the leaves uh, uh, at the end of the summer, and, and lose those leaves. Part of that senescence involves the breakdown of chlorophyll, what we think of as green leaves. Those green colors we see uh, mask the yellows and the oranges and the reds that are produced by carotenoids and xanthophylls that are also plant pigments. Chlorophyll isn't the only plant pigment that occurs. Uh, leaves are, are filled with pigments. As the chlorophyll breaks down, uh, it reveals the underlying uh, yellow and orange pigments, the carotenoids and xanthophylls, that are also involved in photosynthesis, but but also involved in protecting the plants from, or the leaves from, uh, very high levels of light. Uh, light can be damaging to leaves in the same way that sunlight can be damaging to human skin. When those chlorophyll molecules break down uh, and uh, the, the end of summer has occurred, uh, it's revealed as yellow pigments and orange pigments that have been there all along, uh, but are, are now revealed uh, to us uh, because of the loss of chlorophyll. What sets the trigger for all of this is, is day length, or, or more exactly, the, the length of nights. When nights get too long from the standpoint of the plant, uh, it sets in motion that set of processes that leads to leaf senescence and the breakdown of chlorophyll and, and ultimately the revelation of, of those other plant pigments.